Number 57. When heated, iodine vapor dissociates according to this equation. And then they give me this equation right here. We got I2 gas, which comes to equilibrium with 2I gas. At 1,274 Kelvin, a sample exhibits a partial pressure of I2, which was 0.1122 atm, and a partial pressure of the I atoms of 0.1378 atm. Determine the value of the equilibrium constant Kp for this decomposition at 1,274 uh, Kelvin. Okie dokie. So, looks like we just basically have to find a number, a value, for the equilibrium constant Kp. Remember, Kp formulas are the general formulas, and it's this one, right? Follows the Kc formula. It's just products divided by reactants and we just have to raise each number to the coefficients. So I'm just gonna write this balanced equation a little bigger so that we can work with it. I got I2 gas comes to equilibrium with two I gas. Pretty, uh, pretty centered to me. Now remember, if we're going to use values to put into the Kp formula, only equilibrium values are allowed, okay? And only aqueous and gases are allowed as well. But since both of these are gases, I'm going to use both of them into my formula. Now, let's just say, um, they said that at 1,274 degrees Kelvin, a sample exists a partial pressure of 0.1122 atm for I2 and a partial pressure of 0.1378 atm. Now I'm going to assume that these values are at equilibrium. Technically they didn't say that at equilibrium this sample exists, you know, with these numbers, but I'm assuming that, you know, since they told us that at this temperature and then they wanted us to know the, the Kp for the temperature, that these are equilibrium values. So at equilibrium, we have two values, right? We have a partial pressure, of I2 of 0 0.1122, so I'm just going to write that down, 0.1122 atm. And then for the I, we have the 0 0.1378 atoms, right? So I have 0 0.1378 atoms. Now, a common uh, misconception that students may have at this point is some of them will be tempted to look at this number, See that you have two of them and take this number and times it by two. That is not correct. They're telling you specifically you only have this amount, the 0.3, uh, the 0 0.1378 ATM. You cannot just raise this number up by two. They're saying for all of the iodines, you have this pressure, okay? So whatever number they give you, you got to stick with it. Now, since I have equilibrium pressures, I'm just going to plug it into my Kp formula. So let's maybe make a specific formula for this example. So I got Kp equals products divided by reactants. We're talking about pressures because I see a unit for pressure that's ATM. So I got the pressure of the iodine. That's the product, right? It's products over reactants. And now I just take note that I do have a coefficient here. It's a two. So I have to raise this to the second, divided by the pressure of the I2. And there was no coefficient in the front. Whoop. There was no coefficient in the front. That means that I have one. So technically, I would raise this to the first, but anything raised to the first is itself. Now let's plug in those numbers. So all we're going to do is we're gonna take the 0 0.1378, and that's squared, and then divide it by the 0 0.1122. I think we could get this one at one shot, doesn't look too complicated, right? So here we go, we're just gonna get the number. I'm gonna say 0 0.1378 squared, and then I'm just gonna divide by 0 0.1122. And Looks like I got four sig figs, four sig figs. So I'm gonna put my answer in four sig figs. 
I got 0 0.1692. KPs and KC values are unit less. They have no units. So no units required. It's kind of like a ratio value. And we're done. That's the value of the equilibrium constant. Now, one other thing that I want to suggest, or not suggest, but just point out that they gave us a temperature, but did I use the temperature in any of our calculations? No. So sometimes they will give you more numbers just to kind of throw you off. Pay no mind. Temperature has nothing to do in these formulas. So even though they gave you a temperature, eh, whatever. <laughs> All right? So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Let's keep rocking and rolling. We're getting close to the end of our equilibrium chapter, so it's been a fun ride. Let's keep, let's keep working hard, all right? Good luck on your future tests and quizzes, and I will see you in later lessons. Bye-bye.